I just want to do a quick intro. Um, so this video is basically going to be showing you guys what we do every day, homeschooling. Some of these things I've just started and some of them I've been doing since he was one. Um, but I just wanted to say this is not professional. This is just stuff that I've been doing with homeschooling, but I'm not going to ramble on a lot. I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all know. I don't want y'all to be looking forward to this, 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 you know, it's not really structured, but it is fun for him and he still learns. Um, so homeschooling starts at 8 a.m. And I usually end it around 9.30. Excuse him, he and his stations right now. But I usually end it around 9.30 a.m. Um, just because I don't want to put too much on him. He doesn't need, you know, the whole day in homeschooling. So that's just what it's going to be. And also, he's very antsy. So it's very hard for me to keep him still. But I try to keep him entertained. But I just want to go ahead and let y'all know. Um, it's already been one minute in, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. I hope y'all enjoy. And if you have questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or you can comment them down below. But if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. If you like homeschooling videos and you guys want to see more, please like this video so I will know you guys want to see more homeschooling videos. I'm so sorry. But, but all right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the video. Say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Good job. Okay, before I start um, showing you guys our daily routine for homeschooling, I wanted to just show y'all where we do it at. So, we are in my kitchen, and my desk is right here, and this is Clayton's little setup right here. Our kitchen is a pretty decent size, so it's not really tight, so we're, I'm able to do this. I just wanted to show you guys this setup so that you will know you don't have to have a whole, you know, bedroom that is dedicated to homeschooling. When we move into our other house, I will have that. I'm going ahead and putting it in the atmosphere. I will have a room set. That's V. <laughs> I will have a room set for homeschooling, but I just wanted to show y'all my little setup that I have but um now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we do every day all right y'all so okay so he's very excited um I'm just gonna go through and show y'all the good the bad the ugly of homeschooling at home with a two-year-old so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna show y'all what we do to a T now, I change it up every week, like the letters change, shapes change. I still go over all the shapes, all the letters and stuff like that, but <clears throat> we focus more on one shape a week so that he can... You ready? You drop them? So first, this week's, this week's letter is B, last week's letter was A. So we're gonna, this is my little curriculum book. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what's in it and everything now. So this is gonna be very hard to do because he really wants to go ahead and get started. But here's the alphabets. We go over the alphabets, A through Z. And I have not glued these down yet. My plan is to just have them on the, on the page, A, B, C, D, you know, like that. So I haven't done that quite yet. I just started doing this little book. These are the numbers. 1 through 10. I'm going to do the same with these on these papers here. And then these are the shapes. Now, let me show y'all something funny about the shapes. I got these from Dollar Tree. It was in, um, like, let me see. No. It was these. No. Well, some of these. No. I cut them no. out and I did no. the shapes. No. No. <laughs> star. Good job, baby. So, I cut these out. Like, this is a star. I'm going to put them on the page. This is how they're going to look. And this is just yeah. an idea if yeah. you don't have shapes. Yeah. I know they can be yeah. pricey when you yeah. buy the shapes. Yeah. No, this is rectangle, baby. That's not square. That's square. But um, oh. hearts, good job. So these are all the shapes. I'm going to have them like yeah. this. So see if you can see the vision here. Daddy. And Daddy. just cut them out if you have to. Daddy. It's so much easier Daddy. and so much cheaper. And Daddy. you still learn the same Daddy. thing. Daddy. Circle. That's not triangle. <laughs> 
He be playing, y'all. He be knowing some of this stuff. He just want to see me laugh. But, okay. These are the colors. Now, this I already did this page. I did this with tape, y'all. I glued it down with tape. I mean, I glued it down, then I put tape over it to, like, give it, like, a mm -hmm. laminated feel. Play tan up. You see, this is going to be very hard. Um. So, yeah, I'm just showing y'all what it looks like so that when we go over it, you'll know what we're doing. So, these are the colors. So, that's yellow, you know. Okay. And these, I'm going to have, like, my body parts for this page. You see, this isn't done yet. I'm just showing y'all the vision the weather and i wanted to put something else in here so that is the curriculum book that we do every day now we do this every day and if anyone was wondering i got these from target um the little letters and numbers i got them from target but here's okay flash cards these are the flash cards that i use it's a lot of them i just put them all together so it got shapes numbers letters sight words and all of that Plus these that I got from Dollar Tree. I got these from Dollar Tree. A dollar. Most of these I got from Dollar Tree. Now the... You want to see the... Okay, okay, baby. You can... Let me see. So I can do this with one hand. But y'all, homeschooling don't have to be stressful. It doesn't. And if, yeah. and if some people yeah. be like, I, I work, you know, I, I can't homeschool my child. When you're not at work, you can, you know, you can still do little activities with them, you know. I mean, not everyone is a stay-at-home mom, and I understand that. But it, you can still do activities with them on your free time. They will really enjoy it. But believe it or not, toddlers love wow. learning. Wow. Seven. Seven. Toddlers love learning. But, okay, so those are the flashcards and everything. These are the workbooks. So, I got these from Dollar Tree as well. Um, if you've seen my Dollar Tree haul, my beginning beginner's guide to dollar, um, I mean beginner's guide to homeschooling. Um, that's my previous video about this. I'm doing this video because a lot of you recommended it, um, because you guys enjoyed the first one so much. So I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. But so this is same or different. This is all pre pre K to kindergarten. So I'm just getting him, you know, ready for kindergarten. Well, pre pre K, whatever. Um, but this is like his little arts and crafts pad. I just let him draw in circles and all that. That was last week. Last week was circles. This week is a triangle. That's why he keeps calling everything a triangle. But hold on, baby. This is numbers one through ten. This one is where he. It, it different pages have different numbers. So this three and four, five and six and so on this one is a math one and it, oh, it also has alphabets in it um i mean this is not a math this is like a workbook so this is going to be for when he's a little bit older but i'm just glad i got him now to get him you know get kind of like a feel about it and this is why i want to laminate the letters and stuff because you see what he just did to this yeah i want to get a laminator but this is like shapes tracing and this is my favorite one now this one i got from target it was like 12 dollars, but it's worth it it has all like he loves putting the stickers in the on the pages it comes with stickers in the back so like this needs a pencil right here so he'll get the sticker of a pencil from the back and put it right there and he's loving it so far okay, so now that i've showed y'all everything we're just gonna go ahead and go through it all I good job. So with these, I don't go in order because you know kids they know they have business order because of the song. So I just go X H. So I'm because I'm just doing this. Of course he's two years old. He's still trying to learn. You know the letters. Okay, I'm going faster. Okay, I'm sorry. T D. I got a book from Dollar Tree with animals in it, and I cut out the pages. 
What's this? Pig. Pig. Good job. As y'all can see, this is the back of it. That's how you know I cut out the page. But, hold on. Okay. What's Daddy. that? What's that? Daddy. Pig. Pig. Good job. Good job. Okay, you want it. Blue. That's yellow. Yeah. <laughs> what color is this? <laughs> Moving on. Let's see what page we are on. I think we are on this page. You want to get the, the stickers for this page? This is 24. Let's find them. All right. All right. 22. 23. Okay. You can put the sticker wherever you want. There you go. I just let him put them wherever he wants to, y'all, because he just enjoys it so much and <laughs> it doesn't have to be formal. That's another thing. It doesn't have to be like so homeschooling, doesn't have to be like so structured. Frog, good job. So I just let him have fun with it. Um, yay, make him want to learn. Um, Baba. that's the worm, I think. Worm. Yeah. Um. And for the ones that were asking me, how do, you, how do I get him to sit down? Mouse, good job. Um, I guess he, he you go, baby. I guess he just, Bobby. this ladybug, Bobby. not bumblebee, but I guess he just, um, I guess he got used to doing it now. He didn't always want to sit down. Like when he was one years old, yay, I'm sorry, good job. <laughs> when he was one years old trying to do this, he was not really sitting down for real. Um, I just, I, I, I guess he got used to it. And I do things that he enjoys. Like, I'm going to show you guys the other things that we do. This video is probably going to be so long, but it was requested. So, I'm trying to just get out there. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. 
And I guess while I'm letting him color, I can show y'all um, the little activities that I let him do. I guess you can call it group. Um, But I'm not going to actually put that in this video because it's going to take forever. But... Yeah. But yeah, I don't know how long he's going to allow me to do this without him seeing the toys and he wanted to play with them. So I'm trying to make it quick. So these are lego pieces this is for like colors this is like shapes so i guess i would um give him like a time frame to do these these are shapes and colors i let him put them in here he's getting better at it but again he's only two these are blocks with um in the blocks they're really cool they have like um let me see you see that like queen numbers shapes as well and letters and then um this is for you know stimulation to his brain and this also has colors so he likes this as well um these are animals all in here he had a pig giraffe and a zebra no he had a pig giraffe and elephant and he threw them in the trash and i say that because I have not seen them and he likes to throw things in the trash so i'm sure he threw them in the trash but these are like dinosaurs fish horses scorpions and i got him this i just put them in there just so he can play feed them but yeah that's another little station i let him play all right y'all so here's another station um my church actually this was a gift for clayton from my church and i don't know where they got it from but it's pretty darn perfect. All right, so it comes like this. It has the numbers, the letters, and the colors. To, right now he's just still coloring so i'm letting him get back i mean i'm gonna um well actually he's sitting right here on the floor trying to eat the crayons mm -hmm. so just give me a sec okay so um now after he finished coloring all i do pretty much is go over flashcards mm -hmm. with him so i guess i'm gonna just show y'all how i do that and then i'm gonna wrap up this video mm -hmm. all right now flashcards you ready to do flashcards <laughs> Y'all hear one of the downsides. Good job. There you go. Also, I forgot to mention rewards, y'all. Um, when you see they want to act crazy because they don't want to do no work, give them a reward every time they do good. I know you don't know what this is, but guitar. Good job. There you go. not agree with rewards when they you know when they start having tantrums and they don't want to do it anymore but i'd rather get them a reward and they want to do it than get frustrated and fuss at them because i know some days he knows what stuff is but he chooses not to do it because he just doesn't feel like it you know but he still needs to get that learning in so i mean i do rewards when he feels like he doesn't want to do work so that's just my opinion all of this is my opinion this is just stuff that I've tried and they're, I find that they are working for us. They may not work for you, but I made this video just so y'all can get little, you know, ideas and things that y'all can do. But Dollar Tree will be your best friend if you're just starting out, you know. But now we're just going to go ahead and go to stations. So, oh, let me let y'all see me. Hold on. 
Now, y'all, he just working on his stations and stuff. Daniel, but I'm going to go ahead and finish Daniel. out. Or I'm just going to go ahead and finish out this video. But I hope y'all got some ideas from this video. Daniel. Um, Like I said, Daniel. it's not really. Daniel. I'm not a professional, professional homeschooler. I'm just his mom. And I'm just trying to get him to learn without having to put him in daycare. If your child is in daycare, nothing is wrong with that. You can still do activities at home with your child. Um, I just wanted to show y'all different things that I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all in my next video. And be blessed, y'all.